Holy salute, brothers and sisters. Uh, I was just sitting here reading and uh, studying, meditating, and uh, <clears throat> this video that I'm about to teach and share with you is not something that's often talked about, or I'm just going to be honest with you, uh, everybody don't understand it, everybody can't preach it or teach it. But I feel led to make this video, um, not patting myself on the back or nothing like that. It's just we have to understand that we all have different gifts, different callings, and different anointings. Amen. But the Lord was dealing with me, and he was talking with me about three unclean spirits in particular. That are following these people that I'm ministering to. There's about two or three people. Who are not involved with witchcraft per se. It's just either somebody they know. Or somebody that they're around. Or somebody that was in their, in their life. Or whatever you have it. And now they're trying to live right for God. These unclean evil spirits are trying to manifest themselves and come against their calling. And one, one in particular is called the Jezebel spirit. And another is called Hellhounds. And another is called the Python spirit. But let me explain to you, um... They're all tied together, first and foremost. But let me explain to you what I mean and why they're tied together. Jezebel is the head of, of these three in particular that I'm talking about. And uh, I'm going I'm to read a scripture to show you what I mean. The Python spirit is, it, it goes back all the way to the Garden of Eden. And what it does is, it tries to coil itself around. Now, women don't get mad with me. But it tries to coil itself around women first before it would ever go to a man. And, and whenever it coils and coils and wraps, the pride of woman rises up in the woman. And these dogs that ate Jezebel, they're influenced by her. And she would send them out to attack people. But the Bible says you reap what you sow. So there in a nutshell, she eventually was ate by her own evil deeds amen but it all comes down to witchcraft witches and and and, and these things of sorcery that the bible tells us to don't partake in and even seeing nature itself from the very beginning is the seed of witchcraft if we sin against god it's witchcraft it opens the door to unclean spirits and and things like that nature. And I know that people were going to rant and rave. Oh, you ain't perfect. And yada, yada, nobody's ever been perfect. But the Bible talks to two people, Job and Noah, who were perfect and upright inside of the Lord. So don't tell me that you can't. And don't tell me that it had never happened. Because that would call God's word a lie. Amen. At the time when God wanted them to be, they were indeed perfect. Amen. But not to get off course, what the Lord was telling me and showing me was here in Scripture, I believe it's the first Kings twenty one and twenty three. The Bible says, and of Jezebel also spake 
the Lord, saying, The dogs shall eat Jezebel by the wall of Jezreel. Jezreel. And it came to pass, as the Lord did speak, that she did die. Well, when evil dies, in, in a nutshell, it, it still remains. Uh, the soul perishes. The evil soul perishes and then goes into torment. However, the unclean spirits that are in somebody, such as Jezebel, when she was died, when she died, her soul went elsewhere. And then the spirits that were in her, unclean, remained. And they are sent here today to attack the church and attack prophets and attack people of God and attack Christianity and attack workers of uh, uh, righteousness. And those hellhounds are trying to come out and come against, you know, who they can and persecute who they can. The python spirit itself is meant to discourage people. It's meant to hinder people. It's meant to hurt people. There's many different things that it can do. But first and foremost, if you're called to preach, it will try to prevent you from preaching. That's the python spirit job is to crush. I have been in churches or around seeing nature and I felt this witchcraft take a hold of my heart and I just felt like it kept closing and closing and closing and I was trying to rebuke it and pray against it and whoever it was or whatever it was finally relinquished finally relinquished and it was a terrible feeling to have your heart crushed if I could probably tell you what a heart attack feels like that probably would be what how I would describe it nevertheless that's one thing and these things can be prayed against and they can be rebuked in Jesus name and you can cast them out and you can pray pray yourself up and in the Holy Ghost and you can do all these wonderful mighty deeds and works of God second I want to talk to you about the Jezebel spirit. It's, a, it's an accusing spirit or an accusation spirit where um, especially, especially unto apostles and prophets, someone who has a prophetic utterance or uh, 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 Elijah could work miracles. You know, I'm just going to give you an example of when he would pray the heavens would shut up and it wouldn't rain. That's a miracle. He would pray and the lady would never run out of um, uh, cruise oil and, 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 and bread and, you know, things like that. That's a miracle. It would keep replenishing. And the ravens fed him. That's a miracle. Amen. So Jezebel is going to want to come against those persons, accuse them, attack them and lessen their faith and make them weak because it's a constant fight and you want to keep fighting a good fight of faith because it's a fight of faith and faith without works is dead lastly and like i said uh the snake and and, and the and the jezebel i'll go all the way back to the garden and it will be hand in hand uh, it's like an unholy trinity it's like Satan and man and then the animal or the beast and God gave man dominion over animals and God created man in his likeness so on the flip side you have uh, the serpent coming to the woman and the woman having <clears throat> beasts around her uh, other other than the serpent there were other animals present and 
they send out these you have the python crushing spirit and the accusation spirit and then you have the trailing spirit or the spirits that will constantly hinder you nag you and come against you and discourage you and bark at you and growl and want to eat you alive and very vicious attacks and I've even heard people tell me that when they lay down and when I don't sleep with in the dark because I have seen shadows all over me and around me trying to attack me I don't I'm not afraid I just don't like to see it it doesn't fear me God has not given us a spirit of fear so I don't fear them they can't do nothing to me unless the Lord says they can't harm me but I sleep with lights on a little lamp and the reason why is because I see the tall man I see uh, uh, there's a little gremlin looking thing and I'm not sure what it is yet but, uh, apparently I see the Jezebel with the long hair and uh, I've never seen the hellhounds but people tell me at night that um, that um, they can see the red eyes and hear growling and you could almost see them barking. And sometimes people, somebody sitting there holding chains and holding them back. And if they let them go, rumor has it that it can take your life. But it cannot take your life unless the Lord says. It can't hurt you, can't touch you, can't come against you, can't cross the bloodline. It cannot in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to give you some instructions on what to do and how to do this. Uh, the Lord has taught me this. He's trained me. He's showed me what the different kinds of spirits are and what their jobs are. And uh, you want to get you some uh, extra virgin olive oil. It doesn't matter if it's from Israel or the grocery mart. You want to pray over it. You want to ask God to bless it. Before you lay down at night, if you're seeing these things, pray that God relinquish them. Rebuke every spirit. Break every curse in Jesus' name. Anoint your head with oil. Men, anoint your beards too. Amen. Women, anoint your hair. Amen. It's your glory. Amen. And you want to anoint your bed. Uh, anoint your room every corner and especially particularly go over the door frames of your doors even the closets even the closets because they like to hide in little little spaces and that will give you a peace of mind and that's the power of God and if you pray a prayer of faith then those spirits will have to leave and they can't uh, harm you and they can't touch you unless the Lord says anyway so don't worry about it but <clears throat> one other thing I want to mention I feel led to mention this is Jezebel is none other none other than a witch it she uh I've heard people say that felt something sitting on them or they felt like they're being choked or they saw something floating above them or above their head. That's witchcraft. That's Jezebel. And don't fear about these things. And if you don't understand it, or if you don't understand this teaching, write to me. Come out to the church. You can call me. Uh, I'm going to make a website to the church as well. As a... Uh, um, all right, we have our address, we have Facebook, we have YouTube, and we actually have a uh, church finder. You can go to Mount Moriah, FWB, or freewillbaptist.com, and you can find the church, and you can come out to us, but it also has the number, and you can contact me. So if you have any questions, feel free to write me on Messenger, on Facebook, on YouTube, you can write me. Or if you want to
personally call me, you can do that as well. And I can tell you what I mean by some of the things that I've experienced, some of the things that I pray, and the prayer of faith shall save the sick. Amen. And then it will also deliver us, and it would also heal us, and it would also having faith in God is the key to all things. He's the power that we tap into. He's the one true key to everything. The Bible says without faith, it's impossible to please God. Amen. So I hope this little teaching or lesson has helped you if you're struggling with areas. Um, there's another, another um, spirit that I did not know of, I didn't know existed. And I don't, I still don't kind of understand it. I'm trying to study it and research it. But there's no information on it. But the Lord told me that somebody was being attacked by something called a road spirit. The road spirit. And, you know, we have free will. We have free will and um, it's a spirit. A free spirit or a free natured person where um, it's hard to explain. They just do their own thing and sometimes they just get in trouble. But it's a serious spirit. It can, it's probably one of the most deadly spirits out there that can take your life in, in, in an instant. The road, you know, you think about car crashes and things of these nature. And, you know, I'm not trying to curse anybody. I'm just trying to give information out there to where we can pray against these things and rebuke them and try to stay in our faith and stay in holiness and righteousness because there's a lot of to and fro going on in today's world and a lot of calamity. Amen. But I'm praying for these people. God don't tell me these things to accuse people or put people down or things like that he tells me and shows me so that i i i, I help people and and, and uh, pray for people love people try to encourage them and teach them no no other reason not to <coughs> not to judge them or put them down or feel greater than they are or nothing else. Amen. Coming down a little cold. Been out outside a lot lately. But pray for me as I pray for you all. And uh, pray for me as I pray for others. And I'm constantly learning, learning, learning as I go. I uh, made a video the other night and I was just in here praying and crying. Now I sound like I've been crying because I'm coming down with that little sinus cold or whatever, but it's going to be all right. Glory be. But that's all I got. I'm sorry that this video has been strenuous, but I hope it helps somebody. Maybe it teaches you something that you don't know. Maybe it will encourage you. Maybe you could pray for others. Maybe somebody's going through the same thing that I'm testifying and and people are telling me. And and you can help them now. Amen. But thanks be unto God for all things. Amen. Keep looking up. The time is at hand, church. God bless you to the holy club. Holy salute. If you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, I plead with you. I beseech you to get to know him. And if you know him, I, I plead with you to get to know him more so. Come closer to God. Now is the acceptable time to step up and go up the ladder. Amen. Jacob's ladder. God bless you until next time. In Jesus' name, be blessed. Help us, Lord.